Her name is Laurel Hubbard, and now she's on the verge of athletics history. On Monday, the New Zealand Olympic Committee included the weightlifter in their team for Tokyo, making her the first ever transgender athlete to take part in the Olympics. It is important for us to note that Laurel has met the New Zealand Olympic Committee selection criteria based on performance, and importantly, Laurel has met the International Weightlifting Federation eligibility criteria for athletes who have transitioned from male to female. Before transitioning in 2013, Hubbard was a regular competitor in the men's weightlifting. Then in 2015, she became eligible for the Games after the International Olympic Committee announced that transgender athletes could compete as women, as long as their testosterone levels were under a certain limit. Some scientists argue that the new guidelines don't account for biological advantages of going through puberty as a male. And while transgender activists claim that transitioning decreases that advantage, the jury is still out. We don't let people play in the disabled in the disability categories um, if they're an able-bodied person. So why should this not apply to sex? Fellow athletes have also expressed their disapproval, with Belgian weightlifter Anna van Bellingen last month calling the possible inclusion a bad joke, while former New Zealand weightlifter Tracy Lembrich said she was devastated at having to make way for Hubbard. The way you feel, it, there's just no way to describe it. And it's unfortunate that some female somewhere, wherever, is doing her weightlifting is like, well, I'm going to miss out on going to the Olympics, achieving my dream, representing my country, because a transgendered athlete is able to compete. Aiming to block out the criticism, Hubbard will also compete as the oldest weightlifter in the Games, with her attempt scheduled for August 2nd.